Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for attending uh, this session. Um, today, uh, I'm Kazuhiro Hayashi, working in Toshiba Corporation in Japan, and this is the first time for me to uh, make a talk uh, in the Deb Debian conference. And today, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, some build tools uh, for applying the Debian to the embedded uh, systems. Then. Uh, the purpose of this talk is, uh, yeah, uh, we are developing uh, many products in our company, and uh, we, we need to share uh, first uh, the required features uh, in the embedded product development. Then I also intro I want to introduce uh, the existing uh, some project uh, which can uh, build uh, the Debian-based uh, Linux system images. Uh, and also, uh, I'd like to show uh, some collaboration uh, project with uh, uh, other existing uh, projects. Then, also, uh, I'd like to show uh, some uh, recent activities uh, about uh, the development for the embedded uh, in the Debian community. Then uh, the feedback uh, is welcome. Uh, so I'd like to uh, get uh, the many feedback uh, and uh, apply it to our product development in future. So uh, first, uh, what are required, uh, what are needed uh, in the pro uh, product uh, development with Linux? Um, in products, uh, of course, uh, we are based on the Linux uh, system, and uh, we need to customize many things uh, sometimes uh, for adapting the product specific application or uh, installing the third party software or um, satisfy the some uh, product specification. Then in development, uh, there are many uh, resources like uh, source code or binary packages or some kind of data are uh, uh, managed uh, in many product projects and so we need to effectively uh, manage uh, such um, uh, existing resources for the product development and uh, some customers usually require the, some standalone SDK uh, to develop their application for the Linux environment. And also uh, building uh, some software uh, or integrating uh, the binaries uh, built with these tools uh, are required uh, as a build system. And yeah, after uh, build everything, uh, we need to install uh, the target system, uh, uh, sorry, uh, target binaries into the target uh, board. Uh, at that time, we usually require some flexible installer or uh, some ready to use images uh, for the SD card. And all processes should be developer oriented. Um, of course, uh, we also require many testing uh, to release uh, our uh, software product. And after release, we also maintain, need to maintain uh, many products. And in many cases, uh, the long-term uh, maintenance is required. Then license compliance, uh, we always need to make, uh, clarify the all license information uh, included in the open source software uh, in, uh, embedded uh, in our products. So uh, actually, what is the requirement uh, in our products? Uh, the first thing is uh, uh, hardware support. Uh, for example, x86 and ARM and PowerPC, for the 32-bit uh, and the both of the 32-bit and 64-bit are required. Then some customers required sometimes uh, uh, tuning uh, for the, some specific uh, CPUs uh, they are using uh, to improve the system performance. And our development cycle is sometimes long, 
so we usually need to use a newer SOC as the beginning of our development. And also, our product developer uh, added uh, their own hardware uh, or some IOs uh, into the board, and we uh, usually need to develop some driver or so, uh, yeah, updating the memory map information or something. And about the Linux-based system, uh, the, yeah, we are really depends on the stability from the community. And also, there are many packages available in the many distribution, and at this time, uh, we depend on the, at least 500 uh, source packages uh, to develop, to cover uh, our product uh, in our company. Then, on the other hand, uh, we also required a uh, very small footprint system which uh, has less dependencies uh, on the other packages. Uh, for example, uh, at least uh, sometimes 100 megabyte, less than 100 megabyte uh, footprint required to install our images to the target uh, board. Then, uh, we usually customize uh, the existing Linux-based system to adapt our application or satisfy the uh, specification of the products. For example, enable the future, some features required by application or disable features for reduce, reducing the system size or something. And also uh, sometimes uh, up uh, upstream patches uh, should be applied immediately in the development, and in such case, we also applied uh, without waiting uh, the uh, base system uh, is updated. And I, yeah, I also mentioned about this topic pre previous slide, uh, easy installation also required, and there are many other topics uh, which uh, required uh, to develop uh, our products uh, with Linux. And in uh, development and maintenance uh, point, um, yeah, the release cycle of, uh, of the product is uh, usually very short. Uh, so we need to reuse as many uh, existing resources, uh, like uh, distribution or some build tools uh, as possible. But sometimes we are uh, preparing some cross-build environment uh, to avoid uh, uh, prepared uh, some a special uh, native uh, build environment uh, with QM or some VM or something. And yeah, uh, we are developing the many products. So uh, in each development, uh, we have uh, several shareable uh, development efforts. Uh, in such case, yeah, we need to share uh, such resources between the multiple products uh, to uh, development our products uh, in our company effectively. And yeah, we uh, always need to keep uh, all release information about uh, our Linux-based system, for example, list of packages and versions, or yeah, how to customize them, uh, how to build, or how to uh, combine uh, the binary packages, and uh, how to modify the, some configuration files or something. <coughs> and also, reproducible builds uh, is uh, important topics because uh, we need to ensure uh, that the product images uh, which were released uh, in uh, before 10 years ago uh, can be uh, update, updated uh, by applying some small, very small fixes. Uh, in such case, we always need to keep the kind of reproducible build stuff. And the most important thing is the longer term maintenance in, yeah, uh, of course, in the co communities uh, of the Debian. Uh, sorry, uh, some Linux distributions. 
Uh, we will always need to uh, import as many bug fix or security updates for more than 10 years. So uh, the requirement becomes clear. Then what is the next? Uh, for the first thing is to select uh, the appropriate build system. Uh, this means uh, Linux distribution. And the second thing is uh, provide uh, effective tools uh, to manage, uh, customize, or keep uh, some metadata uh, for the uh, base system we choose. Uh, this means uh, usually base uh, build system and also including uh, framework, some framework uh, for customization and product maintenance. Debian is a uh, well-maintained binary distribution and the release cycle is um, yeah, also very clear and uh, uh, we can focus on uh, several releases uh, before uh, file uh, developing uh, our products. And also multiple CPU architecture sup uh, already supported, uh, famous uh, multiple CPU architecture supported and uh, re uh, frequent uh, security updates or long-term support by Debian LTS team uh, available. And uh, additional topic is uh, yeah, machine readable or license uh, information like uh, DEP5 uh, is also available to uh, effectively manage the license information in products. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we need to, uh, we, uh, we require the, some integration tools uh, to develop the final uh, images uh, based on Debian. Uh, and also, all Debian packages uh, uh, built, uh, built with very, uh, high stabilities, uh, but it, sometimes it's difficult to untie uh, and customize and rebuild again. So, other project is uh, here. Uh, Yoct project is source code based uh, reference distribution and Yep. The integration tool uh, in the Yoke project is BitBake, uh, which uh, passed the many recipes uh, already implemented in uh, many meta layers and built uh, everything from scratch uh, based on the recipe information. So uh, this project has very uh, good affinity with uh, SOC vendors uh, because a uh, recent famous uh, SOC vendor has uh, its own uh, Yoke, uh, s uh, some extension for the Yocto project. And also it is very easy to customize uh, because uh, the old recipe is uh, written in the text file and uh, there are many um, variables or some uh, stuff uh, which provide some customizability. And uh, yeah, BitBake has some kind of layered collaboration model. I, ex I will explain about it uh, later slide. And also supports uh, uh, standard SDK generation. But uh, maybe many people already know uh, the build time takes uh, much uh, for, for example, uh, just we need to create a very small system with a busy box and libc, but we take uh, sometimes uh, 30 minutes uh, from the build from scratch. Or, and as, as the project release cycle, long-term support is also difficult uh, stuff uh, in this community. Uh, because they are focused on, on supporting the latest uh, source package version uh, every day. So here are several uh, solutions related to the both uh, of Debian and the Yocto project. The first thing Debian uh, is uh, develop, originally developed uh, in our company. and. Other Ether and Elbe was developed in some European company, uh, Ilbos and Linatronics. They have very similar 
uh, uh, features uh, about the base system, or integration tools, uh, or some image generation, or how to customize uh, Linux images. Uh, we met uh, maybe uh, two years ago in Embedded Linux conference and talked together and just started to collaborate each other. First, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, the Debian uh, MetaDebian build system, which is uh, usually uh, used uh, in our company. Uh, this is uh, Debian is a Linux distribution uh, cross build from uh, the Debian source packages, and the goal is yeah all requirements I already explained in the previous slide. Uh, especially for the flexible adaptation to the various system uh, and uh, the most important things, uh, stability and long-term support. Um, uh, this system, uh, based on the two uh, projects, uh, Debian and York project, so the uh, name uh, is, comes from uh, the, this reason, uh, Debian, just uh, combined Debian and Pocky, and also it means uh, Debian-like but uh, uh, actually not uh, completely equal uh, to Debian. So main feature of this tool is yeah, uh, cross-build everything uh, as, uh, with the same behavior of the Yocto project, and it provides a full customizability uh, to uh, the Debian source packages. And also, we always need to build from scratch, so no, uh, in other words, uh, no need to keep binaries. And yeah, uh, generate uh, everything from, uh, with uh, only one command uh, of the big bake. Uh, it is very easy to use uh, for every customer. And also support the generation of kernel or bootload uh, root file system SDK or uh, some ready to use SD card images because already provide such kind of features are provided in Yocto project today. Yet. Then uh, comparing Debian, uh, various uh, target CPUs are uh, available, uh, various target CPU and uh, very detailed uh, tunings are available. And also sometimes some packages have less dependency, uh, sorry, uh, this is uh, less dependency on the host environment, so we don't need to care much about uh, dependency on the host environment because it built uh, from scratch. This is abstract of the behavior of the DB, uh, but uh, it's too little too de detailed, so I just uh, explain about uh, workflow. Uh, first, the all Debian source packages uh, managed uh, in the same place, and uh, the Debian is actually called the Meta Debian layers. Uh, the let things is uh, provided by us, and we combined this meta Debian layer into the original uh, open embedded core layers, and uh, it works, uh, it uh, changes the behavior of the system, build system, to uh, fetch the all Debian source, uh, source packages from the Debian repositories. Uh, and then Bitbake automatically uh, cross build uh, the all binary packages and uh, corresponding the binary packages are generated. Then uh, the by Bitbake finally generates the ready to use uh, images. So here is a quick start, but uh, maybe you can uh, see in the GitHub. So I don't. I don't explain much about here, uh, but yeah, actually we can use, uh, we can build the final image only, uh, the final command, uh, only the one command uh, listed here, bit pay core image minimum. And when we customize the target, uh, we need to modify the recipes. Uh, but actually, we all uh, usually 
just need to append uh, some um, changes for the specific packages. As a result, we can get very small images uh, based on Debian source code. Um, for example, uh, installed packages are only libc and uh, uh, busybox, uh, which also include the init. And uh, also other uh, essential configuration or kernel module are included, but bas uh, basically libc and busybox uh, con uh, consist of libc and busybox. And the total image size becomes, um, I checked yesterday, uh, for the ARM 32-bit architecture, kernel becomes 2.4 megabyte, but maybe we can minimize more uh, because the configuration, we just using the default uh, configuration. And about the root file system, uh, only the 5.0 megabyte, and you can provide such small system into uh, the hardware, uh, uh, if we, where uh, the storage uh, very uh, storage size is very limited. Then, uh, what kind of customization we are doing uh, are here? Uh, for example, uh, sometimes mm, De De in Debian uh, there are some big uh, packages comparing with uh, Yocto project. In such case, uh, if product needed. Uh, we split uh, the packages into the more sub packages and installed on the uh, required binary packages, like uh, power modules. And sometimes uh, we change the default uh, configuration of the Debian source packages uh, to uh, remove some unneeded dependencies or uh, Debian provides, uh, Debian and Yocto pro project infrastructure provide uh, some variables uh, to configure uh, the whole system, uh, only one or two uh, values. Uh, like, for example, that we can um, enable or disable like uh, X11 uh, related features uh, by setting x86 into the distal features variables or remove from uh, the disk variables. And yeah, we provide the two init system, busybox and systemd, and um, yeah, uh, not only the Debian source packages, uh, but also other um, uh, longer term or some QA related uh, packages are available. Uh, that uh, example is a civil infrastructure kernel maintained by civil infrastructure project, which provide a, a super long term. Uh, and also we integrate the, some latest uh, test packages. And also have the, some extensions uh, for the famous uh, embedded boards. I'd like to explain about uh, some layering system for the product development with the uh, Yocto framework. Mm. In the bottom, open embedded core layers uh, provided by Yocto project and uh, uh, Yocto project and the open embedded core uh, that is shared by the boss project and meta Debian uh, located on the, on this. Then uh, for generic use case, uh, we just add uh, some additional layers for some embedded board, like a Raspberry Pi or something. Then for the product development, we usually take uh, such kind of structure. Uh, uh, we created for example, uh, each uh, one uh, layer for each project, uh, project or the development, and in uh, on the, this project uh, layer, uh, there are many kind of boards uh, located 
and we can choose uh, uh, which one is uh, last configuration. And sometimes, for example, we uh, some developers cannot use a real board because uh, there's no enough <laughs> hardware available in the company sometimes. So in such case, we provide some um, virtual environment to develop the application with uh, some configuration or something shared, already shared in the project layer. And all uh, efforts development efforts for the project in the company uh, is shared in the company layer. Uh, that is a basic uh, layer in, in our company development. So that is a uh, uh, basic introduction of the DB, uh, but uh, we need to consider uh, more bit, uh, more things uh, about uh, uh, quality or maintainability, uh, something like that. Actually, we can provide a full customizability with Debian, but if we, uh, when we see the Meta Debian layer, uh, there are many, many recipes are listed here. So, in other words, uh, all available packages are maintained by these many recipes by our hand. So, for, yeah, providing for customizability is uh, one of the important topics, but uh, we need to care about the focus of the packages for the effective development. Other things is, yeah, like Debian, uh, the binary package is already available in the uh, official repositories, but uh, in our case, uh, we always uh, build everything from scratch, uh, only one command. But uh, we also need to build everything, even though uh, the, some packages are already up to date. So it is sometimes need to reduce uh, such development time uh, by uh, caring, uh, considering uh, such kind of uh, features of DB. And regarding QA, uh, the QA of the Debian community uh, comes from the binary packages because uh, all uh, packages are tested uh, as a binary uh, and combined uh, as a system. But we re uh, rebuild everything uh, by the cross building. So uh, many uh, yeah, high uh, responsibilities are required uh, to such kind of maintenance. And also, uh, the build time is uh, based on yeah, Yocto project approach, so we also need uh, 30, about 30 minutes uh, for building uh, only a very small, minimal system. So next step is one collaboration project. Uh, I already explained about other project uh, in the previous slide. Uh, we uh, have met uh, by the, these uh, motivations, uh, yeah, we are uh, we are product-oriented developers, and uh, we are also already based on uh, the Debian-based system, and everyone have uh, high uh, interest in the Yocto project or Bitbake because they are focusing on the embedded world. Then we also have the common goals, uh, like uh, one command, very easy building, or image generation based on the Debian packages, and uh, some flexibilities for the customization. So uh, we have just uh, started uh, this uh, collaboration project, and the basic approach is, uh, yeah, we are we should uh, based on the Debian binary and source packages and Debian toolchain. 
that is maintained by Debian project. Uh, so the QA and long-term support comes from uh, such selection. And Big Bake, uh, we all, yeah, we are commonly uh, interested in uh, the on-demand and one command building with uh, provided by Big Bake. And we also want to share uh, the common resources I explained in the previous figure uh, between the isolated uh, product layers. Uh, it make the product development more effective. And further functionality is uh, basically we require the package build uh, in our system. Uh, that there are two cases, uh, native build or cross build support. And also image generator uh, function uh, is required. Um, yeah, we are discussing uh, uh, what kind of uh, function or features are required in our project. Then we are just started to, sorry, um, we just started our work uh, by creating uh, the common proof of concept <laughs> repositories, and we already uh, achieved the several small uh, things as the first step. Uh, for example, um, we, yeah, uh, the pack for the package builder, we just choose S build. Uh, because it is uh, one of the official package builders uh, used in the Debian communities for the package building. And other feature is, for example, uh, effectively uh, fetch uh, the DSC-based uh, source packages data uh, by the Bitbake recipes. And we are discussing about how to uh, solve uh, the dependency resolution uh, between the Debian community, uh, Debian binary packages, and uh, Bitbake uh, recipes. So about the collaboration project, we are just implementing uh, further uh, functions, uh, like image generation, and also uh, need to consider uh, some kind of framework for customization, uh, like a Yoct project, and also, yeah, this is uh, in my priority. Uh, cross building is also required, and uh, adding uh, yeah needed functionality uh, for the upstream tools is also important uh, to uh, collaborate only uh, with our project, but also uh, as upstream project. So regarding Debi. Uh, we still need to keep uh, providing the tiny dependencies and footprint uh, Linux system uh, because our customers uh, still want. And But uh, we just uh, need to change our priority or focus. Uh, we need to focus on some kind of core packages like uh, BusyBox or LibC, uh, Bootloader or something. Uh, which are already discussed in uh, civil infrastructure platform, uh, which kind of packages should be uh, maintained longer term uh, in the Debian community. So that is <coughs> one of the related topic. Uh, and also, we'd like to get more better affinity with your project layers. So from now, uh, this slide, uh, I'd like to introduce the several uh, related activities uh, to our uh, product development in Debian communities. Uh, the biggest one is uh, longer term support uh, in the Debian communities. And, uh, that is a uh, essential feature uh, in many industrial products uh, now. Uh, then a CIP project uh, provide a super long term support uh, for the yeah, Linux kernel and uh, some several core packages uh, which are maintained, should be maintained more longer. And in this conference, uh, the talk also, uh, yeah, term 
by our company. So if you interested in, please look at this one. Then uh, about the, yeah, Debian LTS, uh, CIP project and our company uh, started just started to, um, uh, sorry, um, our company uh, keep uh, funding uh, and CIP project also uh, start to the funding for the more longer uh, longer term support, and also uh, sometimes we if we need if we need uh, we uh, sometimes send some security fix patches to the LTS community and yeah uh, still discussion uh, make some discussion about extending the support term. Other stuff is. Course building, uh, I uh, introduced uh, this kind of stuff in our uh, build environment. Uh, that it's not essential for everyone, but uh, still, yeah, make big benefits uh, in many product development. For example, uh, reduce the build time comparing with some native build on VM or something. Um, also, we can focus on some hardware uh, a build environment uh, because we don't need to care about uh, preparing some uh, native hardware. For example, uh, ARM native build. Uh, in the ARM native build, we need the ARM machine to native build the old packages. So uh, we, are, uh, we 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 submit the several patches, uh, seventy patches, to, for the Debian source packages uh, to support the cross building uh, to the Debian cross uh, mailing list, uh, and there's acti many activities uh, about supporting cross build in Debian packages uh, in this uh, one kind of community, and we are still keep discussing about how, how we should that, yeah, or improve uh, the development process about uh, uh, Debian cross uh, building. Then uh, I also made uh, both uh, in this conference and uh, shared some interest or priority about the, uh, cross building uh, with this both and I found uh, the recent interest is mo just moving from per package issues, uh, cross building issues to more uh, bigger things uh, like uh, building Debian from source code. Or uh, yeah, uh, in this both uh, sharing the some recommended conditions for cross building packages because uh, the main activity is done by very limited people so such kind of uh, inform important information is still not uh, shared enough so we are discuss uh, such kind of things so uh, we just uh, changed our mind to find out and focus on uh, the common and more difficult issues uh, that is hidden uh, back to uh, the some easy uh, problems we can see. So that is the uh, next uh, approach uh, of our company. And regarding the reducing the size of root file system is also, uh, yeah, I also interested in this topic very much, but of course it's very challenging because uh, dropping uh, the essential functionalities, uh, sorry, uh, functionality in essential packages uh, affect many other packages maybe. So the benefit uh, and also benefit in the Debian community is uh, for the some generic purposes uh, uh, exist or not, I'm not sure about uh, this kind of uh, interest in the Debian community. Actually, uh, currently uh, the size of the uh, bootstrap tree is uh, originally uh, over uh, 200 megabytes and uh, we can reduce uh, by 
uh, modifying uh, some, uh, removing some files or up to cache or uh, some man, man page or locators or something. And uh, we can reduce to a 100 megabyte around, but it's still big uh, for the very limited uh, hardware platform. So previously embedded uh, related project uh, uh, activities exist, but currently no big uh, activity available. So uh, is it one of the, it is one of the solution to ask some related people uh, who are working in this community, such kind of community. Uh, last thing is uh, Debian installer. This is also very important function uh, for the product development because to, we want to support the full automation installation uh, and also uh, provide, need to provide some flexible partitioning or such kind of stuff. Then, uh, but if we customize uh, the, some things in the installer, uh, it is sometimes hard uh, in, uh, this is related to the Debian installer, the Debian CD source packages, uh, and also the, some functionalities for uh, debugging is, uh, we want uh, such kind of features. So uh, another buff is also made in this conference, and uh, the result, uh, yeah, issue is uh, Debian currently maintained in total the two systems. Uh, one of them is a regular uh, .dev package-based system, but another thing is BusyBox and UDEV uh, packages, which is only for the installer. But it originally uh, maybe intended to work with a small, very long environment, but uh, is it possible to uh, replace uh, such kind of uh, environment uh, by making the root of file system smaller? Uh, so I think this is one of the possibilities, but it depends on uh, package maintenance and the policy of the Debian community. So partitioning function is also very important topic in this book, uh, how to port the department uh, into the regular system or rewrite everything. Yeah, there are many topics to discuss, so please see, uh, look at uh, the Gobi uh, if you're interested in. So that is the last slide. Uh, yeah, uh, Debian is very, um, matches uh, our demand in the product development. Uh, like uh, long-term support or stability from the strong community. And uh, regarding the tooling for the applying a Debian system into the products, uh, the, yeah, we are ha already have some possibilities uh, with other projects, so we are focusing on such kind of activities and also uh, effective uh, development and maintenance uh, that is fo focused on the, uh, just the differences uh, from the uh, Debian uh, distribution and also need to concentrate uh, efforts uh, for the very specific uh, targets uh, by, for example, the Meta Debian or something uh, where uh, Debian is uh, still uh, in unbreakable. So uh, we, in this conference, I made uh, several activities in, uh, yeah, with the Debian community. So I just learned that uh, what people are thinking about is very important things and also yeah, understand the essence of uh, that uh, actually we want to do uh, in the Debian community is also very important. So uh, that is my opinion about the uh, relation between the Debian community. So thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> any questions? Let's say I already have a pretty complex project with uh, 
uh, bid bake on all that uh, all that layers that takes uh, source from upstream sources. Would it be easy for me to plug in recipes from your uh, meta Debian layer to substitute, for example, some libraries to put to take to take the information from now from from Debian sources? Hmm, plug in. Uh... Yeah, originally the Debian uh, meta Debian layer is uh, developed from uh, to replace uh, the all recipes existing in the open embedded core. So um, at th this uh, time, uh, need to yeah uh, enable the meta four of the meta Debian uh, into your system, and then uh, choose. Uh, which recipes you are uh, required or not, and uh, defining some di uh, variables uh, to choose uh, the actual uh, recipes. Uh, one of them is uh, provide the upstream uh, building uh, in the Yocht project, but another, another thing is uh, recipes in the Meta Debian to cross build the Debian packages. And I'm also interested, uh, like, mm, how many people are participating now in this uh, in this development? Uh, how much is uh, how how much <laughs> how much usage do you see of this? Uh, at least mm, about uh, developers, uh, maybe you can easily find by checking the GitHub. <laughs> it already yeah, exported to uh, shared by the GitHub. So, and uh, regarding the users. Uh, it depends on the products, but um, uh, in most uh, products uh, we uh, I am related to uh, are developed by this uh, infrastructure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Okay, so uh, thank you very much for your interest. Uh, if you have some uh, opinions about uh, some build system or something, uh, please ask me and talk together. Thank you very much.